My first introduction to art was really in my home. My mom was a sewer and a cook and very creative. So my sisters and I were around it. We grew up being in art. People describe my work um, mostly as happy and whimsical. Um, a lot of times people, I, I see old customers and I will ask them if they love their art because I'm expecting them to love it. And they say, I do. It makes me happy every time I see it. So it's vibrant and there's a lot of um, softness and texture and I think it makes people happy. My work has evolved over the years um, as it's gotten simpler. I've learned how to edit more. Uh, I think people look sometimes at a simple piece of art with simple shapes and think it looks easy, but it takes a lot of years of technique and practice and learning how to edit and what makes sense to simplify something. So um, I think over the years my art has gotten simpler. Uh, I use circles, lines, and squares mainly in my work and I've been doing it for over 25 years and I think I haven't run out of ideas. It keeps changing. I'm going back to my classic pieces partly because I have unfinished business with some of those collections. Um, you know, you'll, you'll start a, an art a design and you make a few pieces and then you move on because you have another idea and the ideas keep coming and there are so many designs that I never really fleshed out so I'm going back partly because I'm new to town here so some people haven't seen my work before and I'm really enjoying it I'm going back and I'm actually changing things but it's fun to see it with a more editorial eye which I think I have now and to go back 10, 15 years at designs that I was making then and seeing them differently now. I find my inspiration everywhere. I find inspiration in the lines of a crooked telephone pole. Uh, I had, there were stones on a beach that I sat on in Italy and the stones were black and they had white lines of age and each of those seemed like a design to me. Um, I look at you know classic art. I love Egyptian art and Egyptian turquoise and I even just look at a block of turquoise and I see design there that could translate into textiles. So really everywhere. You know I came from out of town. I'd heard about the show from other artists from my hometown in Chicago that said that it's a show I should be doing and when I moved here uh, my boyfriend said I have a show that I love going to that you need to check it out. So I had different sources telling me to come here. And I came and looked at the show and I met a few artists who were super generous with me asking them questions about how to get in the show. And I talked to Susan who runs the show and uh, I got really lucky and got in. And it's just been magical. You need to see this. This is an incredible show. It's different from any show I've done. I do the fine art fair circuit all over the country. and. I've never experienced anything like this from a customer perspective and certainly an artist perspective. You need to come and see it and be a part of it. Perfect. That's it? That was easy. Yeah. <laughs>